Hey guys, welcome back to another Rose Citizens video. There was a new update yesterday, so let's check it out. Alright, so this is technically an update video, but it's also a tutorial video. Um, I'm mostly going to be focusing on how to find all the new props. What's new? New unlockable props. Discover props around the map, complete quests, or even unlock them at a certain skill and job levels. Improved inventory, dark theme, filters, and swords. Furniture stacking, and more. Furniture inventory limit has also increased. New quests, talk to Paisley at spawn for a special reward. Alright, so that's a lot to cover, uh, but let's check out the new unlockable prop system first. So I open my inventory and I see a clear change. Um, the UI is a lot more similar to the new Roblox dark theme UI. Um, and it looks very interesting. And I can see that some of these have like a lock symbol on them. And basically you those can be unlocked at um, certain skill levels or if they're new like for quests as I can see a, a person with a new quest back there which I'll show you um, you can unlock it through that or any sort of things but I already unlocked these because um, I got them from past events like these are Halloween 4th of July or New Year's uh, Christmas right here and here and also I have the boom box because I bought road tunes so there's 36 total prop unlocks plus and there's 20 new props including an edible sign which I already have which is the handheld sign this is 25 robux to unlock now it used to be free for the pride update you can equip the police badge while you're working at a as a police officer it can't be just in your inventory so a big thank you to ty the fire guy for always updating the rose citizens wiki make sure to check it out if you have any questions or anything um and just want to see some cool facts about rose citizens as well but i'm going to be using some of that to show you how to unlock all these new props and also how i unlocked my other props so at spawn you can get three different items. If you look around near Henry's hut over here, there's a hair dryer, a comb, and an umbrella at this table. Just take it and it'll unlock for you um, all of them. And that's pretty cool. I can like comb my hair. Oh my gosh. I, I love the animations for these items. Next up, let's go do Paisley's quest right here. Mmm, ice cream, so good. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to make a video. Let me guess, you're one of my fans? I know it's hard to believe your eyes, but it's really me. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I only collab with people more famous than you. <laughs> if you insist on helping, I'll give you a chance. For my next video, I want to dance by holding a hand fan. Oh. Take this fan and hold it open while you do some dance moves. If I like any of your ideas, I'll let you have the honor of seeing me use them in my next video. So basically we get this hand fan right here. We have it open already and we just kind of want to do some dance moves. So let's go to remote. We can go to action, dance moves, and I'm going to floss. Oh yeah. Okay. And then it says do the robot dance oh so i was supposed to floss dang it i thought i was being cool um okay then let's do the robot and then let's do the jamming right here and then now we're done after we've done three of those things what did you think of my moves i'm trying to be famous i'm always oh boy all right, and then we basically get this hand fan, which is pretty cool. All right, so here's some of the most commonly known ones. So uh, if you come to the dock area, um, the marina dock, which is near the boat shop right here, uh, basically there's a little shop uh, for floaties. You can get an inner tube, hot dog tube, banana boat, and pool noodle. 
all of which go into your inventory like i have one right here and you can place them down um in the water and just kind of ride on them and you can connect them to boats next up we have sports stop uh which holds a lot of these leisure items because it was created so that you can have like one main shop for a lot of like sportsy leisure items but it's right here sports stop it's in like the shopping area near spawn you go in and then talk to Casey and you can see the shop. So there's football, uh, baseball bat, tent, lantern, inner tube, which you also could get at the dock, disc, electric guitar, fire pit, uh, which you can spawn down along with the tent, and trampoline, you can just buy multiple. This is a furniture item right here, but here's a new item called the lighter and let's check out how that looks. Here it is. And you can open it. Oh, and there's this, there's an animation for sparking it. Does it, oh my gosh. That is so neat. I don't know why we need a lighter, but also that's really, really cool. The megaphone, the walkie talkie, the flashlight, all three of those, you need to be emergency services level one. But to level up, you have to work as a firefighter and the crowbar you get when you're level two and then the first aid kit you get when you're in level three two other items you can get from leveling up skills or jobs is for nurse level one you can get the otoscope and for fitness level three you can get a dumbbell oh wow look at me so strong all right, so here are five that you can just get through buying items and then placing them down so normally we have been able to take the iron but now we unlock the prop iron for ironing board so if we take that off we can still find it in our inventory right here and we can just use it and another one is the plunger we unlock that then also a knife i i wouldn't know why we would need this <laughs> um <clears throat> And then when we sleep, we unlock a candlestick, which is, I, I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, we have a lighter, we might as well get a candlestick, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. It's really cute. And, oh, if you open it, the light goes on. I, that might be a bug. Um, and the watering can, you can just have it in your inventory, which is pretty cool. And you can unlock that with any bed you place down or any watering can you place down. But these other ones have to be specific. Or you can do, like, the big knife block or the small one. It doesn't matter. While we're here at home, I just want to show you guys some new update stuff you can buy quantities of food instead of just one so if you're like at the supermarket you can buy more than one food at a single time so you don't have to click it press buy and then go back to it and then press buy and keep doing that every time you want to buy food you can just mass buy it and speaking of food that stacks in your inventory uh your furniture inventory now stacks so if we go to here it stacks like this and basically it stacks with similarly colored items this one is dark gray and then this one's normal colored so there's different sorting and filters for this as well which is similar to the shop the furniture shop and also they increase furniture inventory limit from 2500 to 7500 which is awesome all right so next up we go to the library which is located right here near the fire department and Pagetti's. Oh wow, they got a new Pagetti's icon. A few of these icons are also new, by the way. And the 3D mapping is a lot better. Um, it's, it's updated now. So basically, you can kind of just walk up to any of these bookshelves, press take, and now you got a book. Alright, so the next one is the fire extinguisher. So you have to go to the fire department, which is near the library, to get this one. Basically, you start the job, and then you're going to want to spawn down the ladder truck right here, and open up this area right here, and take the fire extinguisher. Last but not least, we head to Agora, which is near Ice and Fitness World, 
we just waltz in and we're gonna go to the main hall and kind of just <laughs> run to the stage and basically the last one is a microphone and we take it and there's some cool poses for it but um basically that's all of the laser items you can unlock all right so now you should have all 36 of the props unlocked and if you've been here for a while you should probably have more than 36 i for one have 65 because i have fireworks snowballs presents a lot of the props that came this halloween they should be coming back hopefully next halloween so if you want to grab those definitely do and i have the rotunes boom box which the pass is 200 robux and i also have that sign for 25 robux and just a lot more like Halloween stuff. Halloween is just probably the best time to get props. Although you do get a lot of props from like New Year's and 4th of July because of the fireworks and the celebratory sparklers right here. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. This update is actually very, very good for like quality of life. It's something people have been asking for for ages. So make sure to check it out and uh, get all your props. Enjoy.